Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Master Luke here, back for Detective Pikachu on Nintendo 3DS. Last time we made it here to the Litwick Cave, where we're investigating these three Pokemon here to find out which one is telling us the truth about the Drift Blim. So, uh, to start off this episode, let's talk to some Pokemon and see what they know about the cave. It says, since people started coming here, they can't find all sorts of unusual food to eat. Know anything? It seems like each one of these tunnels is a home to a different Pokemon, but each one of these Noibats insists the Drip Blim is in their tunnel. Well, we're in a pickle. Yeah, but we have even a little more information. We should be able to deduce where Drip Blim is. Alright, I understand now. So we need to find out which Pokemon is in the other ones, too. Okay. Oh, wait. We already asked him that. Okay, let's go back. Um, Let's talk to this first guy. All right, it says that nowadays people come here day and night, so it's hard to get a good sleep. It seems, um, okay, so that's saying the same thing. Gotcha, is it, is it gonna say the same thing over here? What does this one say? People more lively, it's fun to see all the different people. And what is this guy going to say about the Pokemon in the tunnel? Okay, so it's the exact same thing for each one of them. Alright, so let's look and see if our case notes say anything. Got a second? Tim, you only have one chance. Think it over carefully. First, let's gather some testimony. Alright. Um, well, we didn't actually get any testimony, did we? All right, let's just go back. Now, if we talk to them, they say different stuff. What if we talk to the... Okay. What if we talk to this Drifloon over here? Is he going to say something different? Here we go. Now we can ask them. I see. They say they live in the hole next to the one Litwick use. Drifloon lives next to Litwick. Got it. Okay, so Drifloon lives in the middle one then. So it's not one, the middle one, because this, they said the one next to Drifloon, so it's one of the two side ones. Here, right, let's ask the Gaily. It doesn't know anything. Apparently, it's never been to the tunnels at all. Okay. Um, what other Pokemon can we ask? Oh, that's the rock. Lily. That's these guys. Okay, so they don't go too deep in the cave. This guy know anything? Doesn't like the cold, so they congregate the far left hole. Okay. Alright, so that's perfect. So it's basically the one on the right. Oh, Pikachu wants something. Alright, yeah, so let's look at the case notes here. I think we figured it out. Did you hear some testimony that tells you where Driplum is by any chance? All right. I see what you mean. Mm. Oh no. I see what you. Mean. Is that right? You I don't know if that's right. the. I think it is. Oh, perfect. That's right. And so, from those three accounts, we should be able to figure out which Pokemon is where. And we'll know which Pokemon is in each hole, which will be very helpful. Alright, so the Liftwick is in the far left. The Drifloon is in the middle. And the Drift Limb is on the far right. I think that's right. Yep. Yes, that's exactly where Drifloom is. Let's tell Noibat, and then speak to Drifloom. Perfect. Okay. All right. So it says we can go through. I'll go call Drifloom. So wait here. Hey Drifloom, wake up. Drift. That did the trick. Here comes Drifloom. 
We did it. So, Driftblim, do you think you could help us get out of this cave? That's right, me and three people. What, the wind is too weak. It says it can't rise up on a breeze like this. It needs strong wind to get us out. How are we supposed to get that kind of wind? Oh, I'm sure we'll find something out. We're getting closer to escaping, that's for sure. Well, we finally found Driftblum. Now, if we can just get the wind to blow, we'll be able to get out of here. Alright, so I guess we just need to deep venture deeper into the cave. Oh. Yeah, see? The wind is coming from over there, but we can't cross. Talk to the Drip Blim and our two partners up front. All right, so what does Pikachu want? I'm feeling a very slight breeze. But where could it be coming from? Oh, he's a little late to the party. I think we figured out where it's going. Um, let's talk to... Oh, no. Let's talk to the Drip Blim. All right. Nope, nope, not that one. About the river. Okay, so this can't be, get past the river because there's wind coming over there. That we knew. Okay. okay, about the wind. Yeah, it's coming deeper in the cave. About the river. We can't cross it. More than 16 feet. Jumping would be difficult. <laughs> yeah, that's why we need... We need to freeze the river. Let's see. Do you know how to cross it? Swimming a bad idea? Of course, you'll freeze. River water in caves is really cold. Most caves had hidden passages, and sometimes the wind blows through into the cave. But the hidden passages can get blocked for any number of reasons. I see, so if we were able to find one of those. Yeah, you might be able to get a strong wind blowing. Okay. Let's so we talk to them. Any ideas? Freeze the river. Talk to the Gailey. All right, see, my uh, Pikachu's a little late. About the ice beam. We got this all figured out. Yeah, let's freeze this thing. All right, it's on you. Whoa. You okay? You better get some rest by the looks of it. Thank you, Gailey. Take it easy for a while. We should be able to cross. Take care of that that you don't slip. Can we go down here? Hey, no. Tim. Just Tim. over. What's up? Yoo-hoo! I'm the great Detective Pikachu! Pikachu! <laughs> Tim, go ahead and shout something, too. It's really fun. I'll pass. Look like an idiot screaming in the cave. All right. Oh, now we want something else. Oh, what? Oh, oh that hurt. Oh. Oh. You gonna be okay there? Are we good? Are you gonna you gonna slip again? All right. All right. Let's move this rock out of the way and get the breeze going. Here, the wind is blowing out this small hole. Oh, this is nice. We can break down the wall and make the hole bigger. I bet we'll get a strong wind. Um, Make a tool. How are we making a tool? Making a shovel? Nah, we got a stick and we got a sharp rock. A pickaxe? Of course. See, see, we're like four steps ahead of this game. We know everything. That's why we can skip all this, because it's like, duh. We, there was that stick we passed up. There's like a blue stone, but I don't think we'll we'll use that. But, yeah. All right, let's go grab the stuff. There's that pointy rock that we threw at the him. Is this one it? Blue glowing stone. No, that's something else. But, see, now we can pick stuff up. A small stone. And a pointy stone, or a sharp rock. Okay, yeah, we're going to use the sharp rock. And the stick from the sign... Perfect. All right. Let's go bust open that hole. 
I wonder if there's a way to like craft in this game or you just it just automatically assembles or what do you what do you got to do? All right, here we go. All right. Oh, so we do have we got to go to the case notes. Oh, we got to do this little cutscene again. Let's look for materials to make a pickaxe. All right, what do we got? We got Oh, there's like a stone in the middle. Okay. Well, we got that. Do you think that's right? We got the stick. We put the blue rock in the middle? Do you think that's right? No. Okay. Do we put Well, unfortunately, I'm afraid that's not going to make a very good pickaxe. Sorry. All right, let's try this again. Let's put the other thing in the middle. Do you think that's right? Nice. Small stone? Do you think that's no. right? No. Okay. So we need like some rope or something well, that I passed up. I'm afraid that's not going to make a very good pickaxe. Sorry. Okay. I thought we just needed the two. All right. Well, let's go look for some rope and see if we can find some down here. Maybe down one of these. Oh, I picked the wrong one. Okay, so it doesn't have anything. What about this one? Nothing in the tunnels, apparently. Okay. Well, that's that's good news, or helpful news. Let's see, did we pass up a rope? Maybe one of these guys has a rope. What about the camcorder? She said something about that. All right, so there's nothing else over there. We can wait a second. Nope. Okay. So that still doesn't say anything. Uh, let's talk to Amelia. Okay. Um, use some rope. How about my belt? Okay, there we go. That's what we were looking for. All right. Well, the third piece of the pickaxe is all finished. What's up, Pikachu? All right. Oh, that. Okay. Go back to the case notes. Open this back up. Let's look for materials to make a pickaxe. All right. We got the stick. Nice. We got the belt. Nice. And we got the sharp rock. There we go. That's nice. Your pickaxe is complete. With that, we can tear down this wall. All right. Let's give it a shot. And don't forget to give the belt back. <laughs> okay. Okay. Nice. Now the wind is blowing. It looks like we'll finally be able to get out of here. But we didn't have any clues about where my dad is after all. Is that so? Don't you think it's awfully strange an incident like this would happen at all? You mean there's some clues behind Gailey going berserk like that? I don't know for certain, but there's too many odd points about this whole thing. Anyways, we should get out of here. Let's head back to where Amelia is. Yeah. Alright. Let's head on out. Let's see. We gotta talk to the Drift Blim. Or talk to Amelia, one of them. Trying to take me, put me down. Oh, 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 oh. He was trying to take our Pikachu. Then he realized he was too heavy and was like, "Ah, oh, no, nope, we're done here. I give up." All right, let's talk to Amelia. All right. I wish I could get some of that praise too. Thank you, Pikachu. Oh, I guess our hearts are connected. All right, let's talk to the Drift Blim. Oh, look at this. Hey, How's Pikachu. It's fine. What are you doing? Okay. Hurry up or it's going to leave. Oh, sorry. Oh, what's this? Huh? What? Yep. Yep. Uh, you know, you could have just told me you wanted to get up on my shoulders. <laughs> That's no fun. So, Drift Blim, we're counting on you. Perfect. All right, we escaped the cave. The next day, Pikachu invited me to come to the cafe with him. 
You said there's a place he always goes to the first floor of the building where the detective agency is. Finally a break, huh? The coffee is great here. Hey, Pikachu. Oh, do you two work together at the agency? Um, no. My name's Tim Goodman. I'm Harry's son. And it's, uh, nice to meet you. So you're Tim, huh? Well, I'm Pablo. Hi. Ludicolo here is our waitress. Whoa! Come on, Ludicolo. You can't greet someone properly with coffee cups still on your head. So, any news about Harry? No, they still haven't found anything. Uh, well, that's Harry. <laughs> I'm sure he'll pop up unexpectedly someday. Yeah, I'm sure you're right. Here you are. Thank you, Pablo. Pikachu, need milk or sugar? Nah, no thanks. Mm, this coffee smells so good! Mm. Oh. Oh, you're right. Delicious. I know. Uh, it has the best aroma. As well as pleasant acidity, along with the bitterness and balanced body. Once you drink this, you won't be able to go to other cafes. Mm -hmm. You know, my dad loved coffee, too. You're liking that way. Alright, so what are we doing here? Talking to random people? Here, let's ask about the Pokemon incident. Is this a report for school or something? GNN, the company Amelia works for. Okay. Hey. Let's talk to the owner of the coffee shop. Alright, let's ask him about Pikachu, what he knows. Cafe blend to like the face of the business. Okay. And what about Harry? Well, maybe somewhere he can smell the aroma of coffee. You're probably right. He's probably drinking coffee somewhere. Did you come to this city to look for Harry? Yes. I see. I miss Harry, too. I hope you find him soon. <laughs> well, if it isn't the girl everybody comes to see. We're looking well today. Girl? It's a she? Hey, Tim, don't be rude to the lady. Pablo just said she was a waitress. Sorry. Oh, let's ask him about the coffee. I'd love to stay here another cup, but there's somewhere I've got to go. Standard drink. What kind of selection I expect from Pablo. Okay, is this like a vending machine? Okay. Piano. He doesn't play anymore, but he lets young musicians perform for a few times a week. So they got live music here, too. And that's pretty neat. Alright, should we ask him anything else? Should we just head out? Yeah, let's head out. All right. Thanks. That was delicious. Sure. Come back soon. Well, let's head back home. Okay. Oh, oh hello, Tim. Headed somewhere? Um, uh... More Pokemon incidents are going on. Be careful out there. Oh, uh, okay. Thank you. Welcome, Mr. Baker. Huh. Hmm. Pikachu never used to drink coffee before the accident. As I predicted, a strange incident occurred in the cave. Hmm. But we didn't find any clues about my dad. <sighs> That's true. But this might be worth looking into. What is it? Well, I don't know exactly. Maybe a broken vial. But why would something like that be in a cave, you know? Wait a second. Look at the shape. Doesn't it look familiar? See? You're right. The shapes are similar. Hmm. If this is part of a vial, then pharmacies and hospitals might be suspect. Also, research facilities, too. Pikachu, even if we only checked hospitals, it'd take forever. Yeah, you're right. So we need to narrow it down even more. Oh, hey, Tim. Can you do me a favor and mark down where Harry got into his accident? Sure. 
I think it was around here. <sighs> this has been bothering me for a while now. Hear me out. The accident was someplace not even close to the marked areas on the map. So why does that matter? Well, try matching it up with the map of Rhyme City. Oh. Now you see what I mean? I think Harry had his accident on his way back from this place. Hmm, you could be right. We should investigate this place next. All right. Well, are we going to continue playing? Let's see, what is it? Chapter 3. PCL. I wonder what that stands for. To look into my dad's whereabouts, we decided to infiltrate a research facility on the outskirts of town. Oh, cool. R&D. Well, here's the key. Why don't you go ahead and hold on to that for a while? Thank you, Mr. Baker. I was a little surprised when you called up asking to borrow the car, but you found a part-time job. And as a lab assistant, pretty impressive. Well, yeah. More of an errand boy than an assistant. It's a place called PCL. Oh. PCL, huh? A well-known Pokemon research facility. Good luck with your new job. Thank you. Tim! I just finished my lunch, so I'll be outside. Okay. Well, I think we'll end it here since it, we just started the new chapter, but we'll uh, be heading out to PCL in the next one. So make sure to leave your comments down below, subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.